right, so if you're watching this video, you're comfortable doing the systems of equations problems where one equation has a price and another one has an amount. Now we're doing a second type where there's just amounts or numbers of things. And sometimes they're a little more difficult to figure out those equations, but let's dive right in and we'll figure it out. Uh, a certain wine distributor packages its wine into cases holding four or seven bottles, depending on which store they're sending them to. When loading a truck, a worker notices there are 144 bottles of wine shipped in 27 total cases. How many cases of four bottles are there? So when you do this, you can plug and chug, pick numbers, and you might get lucky. We're going to actually show you the method here. So first thing you're going to do is identify your variables. So I'll just say X and Y, and let X equal the four bottle cases, four bottle cases, and let Y equal the seven bottle cases cases. So now you just got to figure out how you're going to use or how you're going to figure out your two equations. And I've got one that something's going to be equal to 27 cases. So I'll write that here. What equals 27 cases? Well, it should be the four bottle cases plus the seven bottle cases. So that's easy. That's just X plus Y equals 27. Now, what are we going to make 144 equal to? Well, that's the total amount of bottles. So something equals 144. Well, we have the number of four bottle cases, so that's 4x, that'll give us the, the actual amount of bottles, plus 7 times the amount of seven bottle cases, and that kind of makes sense, so 7y. So now when you get this far, you got to figure out, well, how do I solve these two equations, and I showed you that in pre, uh, previous videos. Hopefully, you do something like this, let's see, let's multiply, what number you want to multiply the top by? I'm going to say 7, and you'll see why in a second. So let me rewrite this up here. That'll be 7x plus 7y equals 7 times 27 times 27 is 189. So there's one equation. And then I'll write the, the other one under it. 4x plus 7y equals 144. I'll subtract the two. 7 minus 4x, or 7x minus 4x is 3x. 7y minus uh, 7y, boop, crosses out. And 189 minus 144, uh, I shouldn't use the calculator for that, that's 45, right? Divide by three, divide by three. So we get x equals 15. Hopefully I solved for the right one. Oh, I did, I wasn't paying attention, but I got lucky. So x equals 15, and that turns out to be the four bottle cases, because I made that variable. Remember, x was my four bottle cases. So your answer is 15, you're done. That's pretty much it. So just, you gotta be able, good or get good at figuring out the equations. And let's practice another one. So here's number five. It says a four mile portion of a highway needs to be repaved and each quarter mile will either be worked on exclusively by a crew of three workers or a crew of five workers. If a total of 68 workers are participating in the repairs, how many groups of three are there? So this is kind of like the wine question. Instead of packages of wine, we've got groups of people. So let's figure out our equations. Uh, first of all, let's do the groups. So x, and I'll do the same thing like I did before. Ooh, x equals, let me do that over again. Um, x equals, I'll write groups of three. Groups of three. And then y equals, I'll just do that so you know I'm talking about the same stuff, groups of five. So these are really the crew, I should say the crews of. So there's a total of 68 workers. So something's going to equal 68. Well, it's however many crews of three, so 3x, three however many crews of five, 5y, five that equals 68. So that's the easier equation to figure out. The one that's harder is the amount of, how many crews are we actually using? And, and the information's a little hidden, but it's a four mile portion of a highway and each quarter mile is gonna be worked on by either a crew of three or five. So every quarter mile, there's at least, there's, there's one crew. Well, every quarter mile there's a crew and there's four miles. So that's 16 quarter miles okay each quarter and there's four quarters so there's gonna be 16 crews hopefully that made sense each quarter mile there's a crew and you've got four miles so it's just four times four so now that we know that there's 16 actual crews it's just gonna be X plus 
plus y equals 16 because x was the crews of three or the groups of three and y was the crew or the group of five. So again, same issues as before. How do I solve this? Put a line under it. Let's do this. I'm going to multiply by everything by three. So let me just distribute it here so I can save time. That will be 3x. That will be 3y. And what's 3 times 16? Hopefully you said 48. So just trying to save a little bit of time here. 48. Now let's subtract. 3x minus 3x cancels out. 5 minus 3 is 2y. 68 minus 48 is 20. And 2 times what gives you 20? y equals 10. So I don't know if that's what we were trying to solve for. Let's see. How many groups of 3 are there? No. Just be careful. We solve for y. Groups of 5. So y equals 10. Well, we got to go back. Uh, let's just plug in here real quick. So it's going to be 3x plus 5 times 10, which is 50, which equals 68, minus the 50, minus the 50, and we get 3x equals 18. That means x equals 6. So you got to be careful sometimes and make sure you're actually solving for the variable you set out to solve. <clears throat> Excuse me, that you set out to solve for. I probably could have done this a little quicker and and picked a different number and solve for y. I kind of just you know sometimes you just solve and you kind of forget what you're solving for. But uh, as long as you go back and make sure you get the right variable, plug it back in, you can always find the other one. All right, let's keep going. All right, so the third type of systems of equation word problem is when you have an equation that has two variables and they have some key words in there like one variable is 30 more than the other or one variable is half as much or four times as much as the other so in these instances you're gonna have two equations still because you still need two equations to solve a system of equations but one variable relates to the other and the way you're gonna solve them is with substitution so let's just go into one I'll show you how to solve it a restaurant sells two types of dessert cakes on Friday night strawberry marble cake and red velvet cake. The red velvet cake costs six bucks and the strawberry marble cake costs seven. If the restaurant sold five more red velvet cakes than strawberry marble cakes and made a total of 290 bucks, how many red velvet cakes do they sell? So when you go to do these problems, like I always do, identify your variables. So I'll use R and S, we'll make it easy. So the red velvet cakes cost six bucks, as we see here and the strawberry ones cost seven. So we already, we already got the ingredients to make a price uh, equation. And it looks like they're gonna add up to 290. So something's gonna equal 290. And hopefully you said 6R plus 7S equals 290, right? Um, how many red velvet cakes you have at six bucks a piece, how many strawberry ones you have at seven bucks a piece equals 290, makes sense. We need a second equation, and we get that from right here. They say five more red velvet cakes than strawberry cakes were sold. So there's more red velvet cakes. So I'll write red equals strawberry plus five. Hopefully that's the equation you got. Now what do I do with that information? You're gonna plug it in right there, where it says R. Well, if R equals S plus five, we can just plug it in. So let's do that. Um, ooh, that's going to be S, sorry, that's an S, <laughs> S plus 5 plus 7S equals 290. Let me just clean that up because that's bothering me. So that's going to be 6S plus 30 plus 7S equals 290. And we'll keep fixing this, minus 30, minus 30, and 6S plus 7S, we've got 13s equals 260. You can use your calculator, but you should kind of see that 13 goes into 26, right? So 260 divided by 13, we get 20. So s equals 20. Is that the variable that we wanted? Let's just make sure. We got strawberry. It wants to know, okay, so it wants to know how many red velvet cakes did they sell? So we know the strawberry equals 20. Um, and what did it tell us? The restaurant sold sold five more red velvets. So if we want to know how many red velvets there are, we just add five 
to this. So our actual answer, if we had to grid this in, would be 25, right? Because we got to add five more. So always be careful on test day. What you know, make sure you're figuring out what the question wants you to figure out, not just "ooh, I solved for a variable, I'm done." Always go back and make sure. So we'll practice another one, number seven here. All right. A book manager decides to sell only two types of books in July: romance and horror. Um, the manager makes eight bucks profit on the romance novels and six bucks profit on the horror novels. If he sells three times as many romance novels as horror novels, how many books did he sell if he made 900 bucks? Same idea here, just like we did the last one. Let's identify our variables. So, eight bucks profit on the romance. Romance is eight bucks a piece. Horror novels, six bucks a piece. Let's make an equation for price. So hopefully now you should be getting this, you know, a little bit better. 8R plus 6H equals what? 900. Now we need the second equation. Where does that come from? He sells three times as many romance as novel, as horror novels. So romance is going to equal three times the horror. Same thing. Where do I put the R? I'm going to plug in right there. So that's 8 times 3h plus 6h equals, oops, equals 900. So 24h plus 6h equals 900. That's going to be 30h equals 900. And 30 times what gives you 900? Well, hopefully you said 30, right? 30 times 30, 900. So there's 30 horror novels. Is that what we want? How many books did he sell? Okay. So this is where you got to be careful. Again, horror is 30. Well, what is romance? Well, we said romance is three times that. So what's three times 30? I'll, I'll write it here. You're really just doing three times 30. So romance equals 90. And when you go to grid in your answer, you've got 90 plus 30 grand total of 120. So again, always be very careful. Sorry, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I was trying to do one of those things, but that looks silly. When you go to grid in your answer, make sure you're actually answering the question. All right. So again, if you need more practice, email me. I can definitely tutor you or check out more of my stuff online. A lot of it's free. Some of it you pay for, but I'm telling you, it's all worth it. Take care.